Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is DeathX here, and today we're going to be playing a new game, new series. It's uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. I've probably got about 30 40 hours into the game, it's pretty fun. So, I'm going to start a new series here where we go, go through, we do a couple jobs, we build up the garage. Eventually, we'll get into where we can restore old cars. I got all the DLC installed, uh, a couple mods. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So this is all we got right now. We got a, you know, pretty much just a single bay garage. Not a whole bunch going. Uh, activate your tech tree. You got them over here. These are all the skill points. Every so levels down here, you know, two, three, four, so forth, you know, unlocks the ability to get these levels here and whatnot. So we'll get to that in time. So let's go ahead over here to the phone and take our first job or break performance I'll go ahead and take order alright there we go and here's the car the car must be from Michigan with all that rust uh, rust isn't actually depicted as like rust it's more like damage like condition wise so the more uh, rust on a vehicle or on components is the worse worsening of condition okay, come in here and open up the hood look under the hood close the hood and open the door close the door you know, all these fun things you know but this thing has poor brake performance I wonder if it gives me a list Let's see here car status ABS pump, brake pads, ABS module, and brake caliper. Yikes. This is another thing. Um, it, earlier, later on in the game, you're going to get parts that, you know, might be 70% condition or whatnot. They're not, like, totally bad. And if you look here, it says, repair the minimum part condition 66. So, if I had 66% brake pads, I could throw it on this car and it would be fine. That part I don't don't particularly like because it's not realistic. Realistic. Well, I have to talk today. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, move car over to lift A. Tiny little load screen there. Let's go ahead and pop this hood. Let's get in here. All right, we're gonna be looking for the ABS pump and module. As you can see right down here. See how it's all that rusted color. So we're gonna go ahead and move this module here. And ABS pump. Now, obviously, this is not this easy <laughs> in real life. That would have been a big pain in the butt. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and lift up the car. Higher than that. Alright, now let's try to see if we can't. Oops. Um, where's my examine mode? Part overview. Alright, so there's our bad caliper. Can't tell if the pads are bad. I think it's this back wheel. I think this back wheel is the problem. Let's go ahead and take the wheel off. Here's some bad calipers. We're going to take this off. I'm going to go into my examine mode. Oh, those pads are fine. Okay. So that's not good. Let's run over here. I 
There's the bad brake pads right there. Now, do we have two bad brake pads or just one? Just one. All right. See, that's something else that doesn't make sense. We had a bad caliper over there, but the pads are fine. And we have a somewhat decent caliper over here, supposedly, with bad pads. You think the bad pads would be on the side of the bad caliper, like the caliper locked up and, you know. But hey, it's just a game. It can't be perfect, right? So we'll go ahead and move these. And we're going to go over here to our computer and order some, some parts. Alright. We we'll go to the main shop. Right here at the top is our ABS module. And our pump. And we're going to go over here to brakes. And we're going to buy brake pads. And a brake caliper. That's another thing that's weird. Like, you when you're buying brake pads, you only buy one pad. You don't buy... Like, I'm only required to replace one, like... A pad per wheel. It's not... You don't do... Like, normally when you do your front brakes, you do both sides. So you don't do that in the game. You only do the one, the one side, which is also weird and doesn't make sense to me. But, you know... Again, it's a game. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and throw these pads on. And the caliper. And we want this caliper, the one that we took off with this cylinder. Yes. And we'll go ahead and tighten these down. And we'll go ahead and put the wheel back on. Don't remember which wheel it came off this side. I don't think this one, but whatever. That part don't really matter. Alright, then we're gonna click over here. And we're gonna put this caliper on. This here. And we're gonna put the rim back on. Or wheel back on, I guess I can say. Alright. That takes care of that. Let's go over here to the lift. Lift the car down. Go in here in the engine bay. Go back to the part mounting. Here's the ABS pump. Go ahead and throw that in. And we're gonna go ahead and put the module back in. Bonnet, as some people may call it, or the hood. I'm gonna go to car status. You can see here, everything's been fixed. This is how much money we spent, a task bonus, job bonus, and so this is how much we're gonna make. I'm gonna go to finish order, and we only actually made 870 or 882 dollars off that job. Not a whole lot. So let's go over here to the phone, pick up another one. So we have another one with uh, brake systems needed fixed. Then we have another one. A year and a half ago, I bought this car for my for my son. He said he was not interested in anything except drying and occasionally filling it up at the gas station. Please check the oil and tires. All right. the oil. Oh, buddy. Yikes. Alright, so let's leave that open. Alright, so are we doing a drain and fill or are we just... Yeah, so that's another thing. Drain and fill? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. And then, uh, air filter, fuel filter, and four tires. Car in the lift. I like how close to the hood. 
Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and take the air filter out real quick. Be so nice if you could actually move around like this in a, in a re under the hood of a real car. Oh, it makes it fixing things so much. E oh, that air filter, bro. Zero percent. There's the fuel filter. That's everything under there. Flip the car up. Go ahead and. Lift A. So another thing, I wish you would be able to actually pull the drain plug out, put the drain plug back in instead of having to do it like this. Like, you know, that'd just be a little bit better, I think. A little bit more realistic. But again, it's a game. Another thing I noticed with all the, um, all the cars have lug bolts. They don't have lug nuts. None of the cars in the game have lug nuts. They're all lug bolts. No matter if it's a sports car, a classic car, uh, a Jeep, trucks, they're all uh, lug bolts, not lug nuts. But a lot of the American cars would have lug nuts, not lug nuts. But hey, who am I to judge? Maybe when wherever the game's made it, all the cards have luck nuts. Or luck bolts, I mean. Jesus. Alright, that's that. Go up here and we'll pull this tire off. Great. Oh, that's all the tires, okay. Now, I forget my how there it is. So we need standard tire B. We're gonna need a 205-55-R16. Let's go over to engine real quick. Buy our air filter. And our... Let's do this real quick. Fuel. And then we need to go to home. And all tire. And was it the standard B? Yeah, I think so. It was a 205, whoop, 55, or was it 16? Yeah, I think so. I hope so. Ugh. Hopefully I got that right. Yeah. Alright, now I'm gonna run down here to the tire changer. Separate. Oh, the grind of being a mechanic in daily life. <laughs> Stall. Yes.
multitasking. This last tire, or put this tire on. That you want just finished up, so we'll go ahead and take this. Assemble mode. Put the air air filter in. Cover back on. Little clips. See, I find it funny that, like, they made it to where you had to take the clips off of the air filter cap. You know, the air filter cover. But yet, to change the oil, they didn't have you take the drain plug out. It's that's a little funny to me. You think it would be. Instead of doing the little caps, you think you had done an animation for the drain plug. Oh wait, I have to oil in this. Alright, see here. Premium motor oil. So it's really hard not to overfill these cars because there's no indication. So, oh, it's in the, uh, I overfilled it. Now that part's a little hard because, you know, for you to check it, you would actually have to quit the animation of filling the oil, and click the dipstick. And as you can see, it's max. You know, part a little annoying. Close the top. Everything is done. Another thing, I put new oil in it, but I didn't change the oil filter. Seems a little weird to me. So we'll go ahead and spent $963, got a task bonus of $917, job bonus of 471, so we made $2,351, and we we're actually going to get, oh, well, we got a pretty good payout out of that one, we're up to 6300 now, when we're at 4883, I believe. So we'll go ahead and take one more job, now we'll go ahead and take, oh, the other job disappeared, so I guess we're going to take this one. Poor break performance, and the list is provided. Vehicle overview, Let's see here. Looks like we've got a bad ABS module already. Um, let's see. Got a brake pad on that one. Uh, pad, pads on that one. And a bad rotor, it looks like. Impossible pads. So we got three pads, a ventilated brake disc, and an ADPS module. Okay. Go to car lift. Let's take that ABS module off real quick. Got the uh, six screws. Go ahead and lift 
it up. Probably a little high for doing breaks, but that's fine. This one I think just needed pads. Yeah. This side I think needed the ventilated brake disc. Maybe this one needed pads too. Let's go ahead and get the front buttoned up before, uh, before I do anything else with the back. Brakes. I need this. I need one of these. I need two pads. Break this gun. New pads. Caliper. Rib. Wheel. Whatever you want to call it. The thing that goes round and spins, spins and makes the car go. Well, down the street, I guess. Doesn't really make the car go. There's other things that make that happen. Galper. Yes. Now, I do have to say, they don't always provide you with a list of what's wrong with the car. Uh, there are options to actually, like, take this for a test drive, and from the test drive you figure out what's wrong with the vehicle. Um, stuff like that, you know, it's not always... You know, you know what's absolutely wrong with the car. But at the beginning, they kind of kind of make it a little easier for you, I think. You know, um, you kind of get used to it. And then as you go on, you're going to get, like, a test path where you take the vehicle down and test the brakes and the suspension. Um, eventually, you're going to get your electronic scanners and compression tester and all that fun stuff, OBD scanner, you know. Okay, I need pads. Alright, and that's the last, other than the ABS module. Yep, that's my last set of pads. Alright. Car down. Here to the engine. Parts mode. Yes, module. All right. Third and final job. Alright, now we're level 2. So now we can actually come over here to the toolbox. And we can either get 50% faster part examination, or 50% screwing and unscrewing. I'm going to go ahead with the screwing and unscrewing first. Because there's a lot of time, especially when you get to doing engine repair, there's so many bolts you got to take out. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, hit that like button. Uh, have any comments, 
uh, feel free to leave a comment um, and uh, hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Uh, I'll probably be doing these eh, maybe once or twice a week. So um, yeah, stay tuned for more and we'll see you guys next time. DexX out.